hey guys in this video i'll be teaching you how to create a vcf file a v card file on your smartphone basically this is on android because i'm on android machine so i'll teach you how to create a vcf file on an android phone so first all you need to do is to visit your contact apps now to get the contact which you would use to create a vcf file because basically a vcf file is consistent of contact numerous contacts basically so um let's say you get in contact from a whatsapp group or you get in contact from wherever you are getting your contact from now all you need to do is to save your contact to your phone book either to your contact phone book or to the sim card you're using on your phone or to your google account because i'm on android i'll be saving it to my google account if you have an iphone you can save it up to your icloud account so basically just save your contact to your iCloud account. Now, I'd recommend contact you're using to create a specific VCF file should be saved with a particular order. You should save it in a unique way that you would recall and be able to identify which VCF file you're actually creating. Now, I have this bunch of contacts that are actually saved. You could see they've been saved with a suffix of an emoji sorry a prefix of an emoji so you could use a prefix or a suffix to save contact you'd want to um create a particular vscf file with so i recommend using a prefix that a certain characters certain number of characters or a certain number of um emojis or basically emojis at the beginning so you could either put it at the beginning or at the end of the contact but i recommend for clarity purposes you should always save your contact with an emoji rather than random strings of characters so save it up with an emoji at the beginning of your contact now let's check a look at this contact this is called handy pride now this contact is handy pride now you could see that i've saved this contact with an emoji of a tree before the name so if i click on edit you could see that um i could basically edit this and save it to wherever i want so you might say the first name is let me change this name let's say okay this first name is handy let's say handy ride so let's use the last name as ride so this is how to save a contact that you would use to create a vcf file so basically come up to your phone book then click on the first name as the handy uh, basically i'm using this as the first name handy and the second name i write then before the first name i recommend you put an emoji right so go to your keyboard now depending on what keyboard you're using i'm using a google keyboard so there's a bunch of emojis here so go to your keyboard and look for any unique emoji you'd want to use to save this particular contact and i also recommend when creating a particular vsf file sorry a particular vcf file you should also make sure that when using an emoji to save the contact in that particular file that emoji you are using should be the same throughout the rest of the contact you are saving to that vcf file so if i'm using an emoji of a person hugging this should be throughout people hugging if i'm using this emoji of just people this should be throughout so don't use random emojis as this basically how um it doesn't really helps to identify what vcf you're looking for but if you're creating one vcf is basically consistent of multiple contact then those multiple contacts should carry a unique um tag on them so for this app um i think i basically saved this with a three the three and um i think my image is not here so i basically come here and say three so now you could use these emojis of three um three we we'll use either this emoji of three or this emoji of three so depending on which emoji you would love to use to save a particular contact so just do it so i recommend you use the emoji before the name because using it after the name would kind of um make because it wouldn't align at the beginning so i would want your contact to align at the beginning so it would be very very nice to have your um emoji saved at the beginning of the name before the name in the contact right so this is how to save it so i'll use this three icon this three emoji to save all the contacts i'll be using to create this vcf file and when you have all your contacts saved depending on how many contacts you've saved and how many contacts you want to create in a vcf file so you just 
have it all so you could see all these contacts have been saved with a three emoji at the beginning so i always recommend you put your emoji if you're using an emoji to save put it at the beginning well you could also use a um, string of characters like um let's say this is adewale you could take off this string of characters um take off this emoji and say um let's say you could say c1 so basically just use random string of characters to maybe save this contact c1 underscore adewale right so c1 underscore hashtag c1 underscore adewale these are random string of characters but i think i love using emojis while creating these cf contacts so i'll just stick with using my emojis for for the sake of this video and just do what seems best for you save the contacts to your phone book and go up to your contact now um i was when creating a vcf file you should use your contact app now if you use your phone app because we're trying to create a vcf file with numerous contacts so when you use your phone apps and basically go to contact and try to long press it basically do not allow you to do multiple selection right so if you're using this process you have to individually pick contact you see when we press and hold it's not giving us the option to select so you don't use your phone book app so you basically use your contact app straight up when you are in your contact app when you long press you see there is an option for multiple selection which we don't have in our phone book so all you need to do is to click and select the number of contacts you would want to have on your vcf file so i'm basically selecting the contact let's see i'll select um let's say let me select 100 for the sake of this video i think you can make a, con a vcf file up to 300 to 400 contacts and up to 500 so for the sake of this video i think we'll just do 100. So our 100 contacts has been selected, contact we saved with an emoji of a tree before the name as a prefix and all you need to do after selecting your contact now is to click on the share icon which is at the bottom part of the page, click on share icon. Now some um, devices will give you an option as import, so you basically import as a VCF file when you click on the, um, some devices will bring an icon of a three dot icon, so click on it you see an option of import to vcf import or export so basically click on import to vcf but my device actually give me the option of share so i basically click on share and it says save as text and save as vcat so if you are creating a vcf file which i know you want to because you're here watching this video all you need to do is to click on share as a v card so when you click on share as a v card bunch of options will be brought to you so what you need to do is to click on the drive your google drive so you should have your google account sign up to your google drive so all you need to do is to click on the drive and i'll be redirected to my drive now there are three inputs here which i need you to take off first is the document title and second is the account and third is the folder so for the document title i would want you to label it as whatever name this is now up to you just let's say i would say vcf underscore file zero one so i'll just name it just depending on what you want to or depending let's say you're creating a vcf file to be sent to a group let's say your group name is um the big boys group you could say the big boys the vcf right so just name your vcf file according to what you want but make sure that it is a reflective name so you could be able to remember that easily so i'll just say i'll just name mine as file file 01 the vcf and make sure it always have the extension of vcf you don't want to scratch that out to basically keep the purpose of your creation so when you're done setting the document title which is the first step to do now the second step is to choose the account which you want to save it to remember we're actually doing this on our google drive account so for you to have access to a google drive account you need to have a google mail so google account sorry so i have a bunch of emails here so i'll just select this email i want my vcf file to be saved in this account so and you select the folder which you want because i have a bunch of folders here 
so um i'll just go to you you if you don't have a folder that relates to this you could basically click on this um folder plus icon that's on the top right corner of the page to create a new folder and i could tag this vcf files so maybe i want to create a bunch of vcf files in the future i'll just keep this folder here so that i'll be saving files here so all you need to do is to when the folder is created you click on the select option that's in the bottom part of the page select and your saving um info has been set up already our document file has been set up by account and the folder so all we need to do is to click on the save option that's in the bottom part of the page save and preparing to upload and you could see that google just sent us a message saying our file is preparing to be uploaded and sure this is the notification down here and you can see that yeah our file has been uploaded so we could click on locate file and you will see your vcf file now and this is our drive so i basically go on um the folder which we created vcf files so this is the folder click on vcf files and here is our vcf folder which we create which we have created and here is it guys this is the perfect way to create your vcf file and when you want to share your vcf file to the whatsapp group or whoever you want to share the vcf file to all you need to do is to click on this three dot icon here and um you basically click on send a copy you click on send a copy and it will give you options for where you want to send a copy to and you click on whatsapp so if you're using whatsapp or you want to send it to someone via telegram or whatever so I'm basically i'm using whatsapp for business let's say i want to send it to a group right so i want to send this um to a group so i basically click on whatsapp for business because i'm currently using the whatsapp for business because this is basically a business account and so when i'm here i basically select the person i want to send or the group so if you want to send to a particular person you can send it to the person if you want to send to a particular group you could send it to a particular group so basically click on the person and click on send icon here and here my vcf file has been sent and you could see the vcf file containing all the contact here so same also if you want to share it to another person or a group you basically go to your um vcf files in the folder click on share or and click on send a copy now another way to do this is basically to download the file so you basically click on these three dotted lines icon here and click on download file now one item has been downloaded on your device manager so all you need to do is to go on to whatsapp go on to whatsapp and locate the group or the person you want to share this file to so you basically send it to the um, group you want to share the file to by clicking this um, attachment icon and click on document and browse other document click on this okay select document and this week and this is our vcf file here file zero one the vcf basically click it and send it to the group and the vcf file has been sent to the group so whoever wants to view the contact or import the contact from the vcf files basically to click on the vcf file and open with whatever application that allows you to open if you want to learn how to export contact from a vcf file click on the link in the description below there is a link that shows you how to import contacts from a vcf file on the channel click on the link if you haven't already and that'll be all for it guys this is how to create a vcf file and share it up on your contacts over on whatsapp i hope you got value out of this video if you have please click on the like button share this video to other persons who might be interested in stuff like this 
comment what your problem is with creating a vcf file or anything you want me to know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe until then guys i'll see you in the very next video peace out